everybody, it's Bowser Jr. 11 here, and welcome back to Banjo-Kazooie, and it's been a long time, a long time indeed, that we haven't played Banjo-Kazooie, so, we jump right back into where we left off, back at Mumbo's Mountain, and we are going to finish collecting the remaining Jiggies in Mumbo's Mountain, along with... The remaining honeycomb pieces. So we have a lot to do in this episode. I'm gonna get it done. Let's start off. So here, we're just gonna take a shortcut. We have the termite tower to still go up, which means we're gonna have to collect a few more mumbo tokens. And Going. Like I am um, having a hard time right now. Did we? Yeah, we gave the orange to the chimp last time. Did we do the thing with the orange buttons? Dang it! Okay, so. Stand over here and bam. Okay, okay. And you. Okay, so next up, if we stop getting spammed with oranges, we can go up the mountain. Find one last mumbo token. Bumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Okay, so what we have to do is have to shoot eggs into them. And the tricky part is that every time we shoot an egg into them, they get faster. And we need, we want to wait till the last pole. Okay, now we're just gonna backflip and bam! All honeycomb cards for Mumbo's Mountain. Now I just need to finish feeding the juju. And Jiggy. Jiggy 8. Well, 9 for this world. Now we need to find one more Mumbo token so we can get Mumbo magic. Maybe there's one inside the skull. So we've never been inside of Mumbo's skull before, and me, Mumbo, best shaman in all of the game, can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hot boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hid by which find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not good enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign bear. Bring more. Okay, so. We're just gonna collect these notes, jump on the pole, and jump up here, and got some eggs right here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. I'll just keep going. So, we need to find one more mumbo token for mumbo magic. Let's try smashing the huts again. Okay, we need some honeycombs. That's better. Up here, smash. Nothing. Backflip. Smash. Eggs. Bam. Nothing. 
And bam. Oh yeah, extra life. Okay. So I think there's a token behind the skull itself, but I am not sure. Okay, there is none. Just need to check. Maybe we just want inside the termite tower. Oh, there is. Yeah. Okay. So this is the fifth mumbo token we need to get mighty mumbo magic. So let's head to Mumbo's hut and get our first transformation. So we're gonna head in here. And we're gonna step Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press X to see Mighty Mumbo Magic. Try saying that five times fast. Mighty Mumbo Magic. It's hard. And now... Termite Banjo. Mumbo's Magic. Free to change back. You come when ready. Termite fight small, but not bad for, for spell. Mumbo practice needed. Okay, so we have Termite Banjo, like I just said, and we can now climb Ticker's Tower to get the last jiggy and get the last few notes, getting the end of this world. So I'm just gonna walk in circles because we're cool like that. Wee! Walking in circles, walking in circles, walking in circles like a cool person. Okay. Woo! Eh. Woo! Wah! And power! Power jump! Wah! Turbine! Okay. Right, here we go. Notes. 100 notes, baby! Extra life! You found all a hundred notes on this world. Well done! But we are not done here yet. We have to go and get the Jiggy. The last Jiggy, which is somewhere in this tower. And the Termite, if we were a normal banter, we would not be able to come up here. Because we cannot, even with the, give me that cool backpack or whatever else. Never! You'll never get my awesome backpack. And right here we are at the end of the tower. Over here we have a extra life. Perfect. Right here. The final jiggy of Mumbo's Mountain. And let's check our totals. Nine out of ten jiggies. Oh, I was wrong! We need one more Jiggy! Where's the last Jiggy? Oh my gosh, I I was wrong! We're missing a Jiggy! What does this mean? We don't have all ten Jiggies from Mumbo's Mountain! This is a glitch or something! Where's the last Jiggy? We've gone everywhere! Well, before we transform back into normal Banjo, uh, let's leave for a sec and do something in the hub. Because you remember last time at the end, we got that thing. We hit the Gruntilla switch, and that uh, gave us a Jiggy in the hub world, which adds to our total of Jiggies in Gruntilla's lair. So, with Termite Banjo, we can now climb the mountain, grab, Second Jiggy, and your double there. Now we're just gonna walk out of here so the magic. Turn back on Magic Go. Magic all gone. Must go back to Bear and Bird. Now. Okay, so that's what we want to do. We want to go back to Banjo because we're done with stuff in Ticker's Tower. So we do not need Termite Banjo anymore for stuff. We need to go and find the last Jiggy. There isn't. I am going to go look for it. Is it under the water? No. 
Oh, this is kind of weird. Are we done about plate? Is that cheeky go to our total mumbles mountain? No. And go to our total and mumbles mountain. Wah! Stupid bowl. We gave the monkey the oranges. Which allowed us to get over there. Take the orange. Let's give it back to the monkey. Okay. We need to give the orange to this guy. He doesn't give us the jiggy. Oh yeah, I now remember. We have to actually beat Conga. Okay, so I completely forgot about this jiggy. We have to go up on the stump and launch eggs at Conga. Kong is really making a monkey of himself. Ha ha ha, funny. Yeah! Oh, bear beat Konga. Me give price to bear. And there it is. The final jiggy. No difference. This is the last one in the in Mumbo's Mountain. And with that, Mumbo's Mountain is now 100% complete. All 100 music notes, all 10 jiggies, all two honeycombs, and it took us 21 minutes to do it. Nice. So now, we can go and explore Gruntilla's Lair for the last part of this video. That's what we're going to do. We're not going to go into any new worlds. We're not going to jump into anything brand new. Because we're, need, we're going to wait because we just beat Mumbles Mountain. So let's go explore Gruntilla's Lair. Because we got a lot of music notes. So we should be able to break note doors. As Bottle said in the last time. In the last time. What am I saying? Just take our when he comes and go. So if you remember last time, if you remember in the first episode, we tried going up here, but we couldn't. Now at the Talon Trot, we can head up here and bottles. This is a note door sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful music spells. Open it up, then, Jam Jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do we need? The number on the door is the s strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Runty's magic. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Alright, thanks, models. For now, we have a hundred music notes. Let's break the 50 note door seal. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roll once more. Oh, okay. So. That door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, your first and your last. Okay, so, exploring the new section of Gruntilda's Lair, we actually have some enemies to fight, other than just that one enemy that we couldn't kill. I mean, that one enemy that was so easy, we just ran, rolled into it and it died. But here, we have a Dingpot Warp. You activate a magic cauldron. Find two of the same colors to create a shortcut. So, that is one of the many warp pads inside of Grunty's lair, so we can fast travel. But, if we continue going, we have Grunty right here. We have this person in the corner. Who is she? Hello there, young ones. I am Gruntilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I'm trapped down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Runty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well. 
young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you like to hear them. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. Remember that moldy cheese flavored toothpaste. Right here, we have another world. Treasure Trove Cove. Oops, we're just gonna unlock it. We're not gonna go into it. To remove pieces that you have already put down, move the right stick down. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. So, there we go. Treasure Trove Cove unlocked. Cove. But, where is Treasure Trove Cove, you may ask? Well, what we have to do is we have to go up here, through this little part right here, and now we're in another new section of the lair, with what seems to be sewage, a sewage pipe or something, and another note door that says 180 notes to get through it. That is a lot. Well, compared to what we have now, which is only a hundred. So we're just gonna... Up here we have a... What seems to be a pipe that's not spewing water. So what is in here? It's another world hub. But, we're not going to... This done doesn't really matter to us now. But, down here, we have a... Your butt will... No, I don't care. Okay, so in this sewage pipe, out the side, we actually have this random enemy right here, along with another ding pot worm. You activated a magic cauldron worm. Find the blah 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 blah, same colors to create blah blah blah. There. So, that's all we need to do in this sewage pipe. The other one was a world entrance, but the next place is... So, here we go! Okay. Right here, we have a, what seems to be a underwater tunnel, and if we swim through it, we'll find something very strange. Well, you know it's another picture, but it seems to be very incomplete and there's no jiggy stand for us to stand on. This will be very important later. And I'll tell you about it when it comes time for us to activate this picture warp. So, for now, I'm just going to end the episode when we get to the entrance to Treasure Trove Cove. I'm just going to stop there. So, we get out of this. Through here, you see the Sandy. Little Tide and the giant treasure chest awaits. Well, thank you guys so much for watching the next episode of Banjo Kazooie. Please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.